Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we continue with our production and today's tutorial is ways you can use Fruit Stereo Shaper for your mix. You have been using Fruit Stereo Shaper just to make your sounds stereo, but there's another way you can use Fruit Stereo Shaper on your mix or on your sound. Any any sound, as long as it sounds good to you, you can use this method which I'm going to show you in today this tutorial so there's a bit which i've used the fruit stereo shaper and this bit i'm going to use it to explain how you can use fruit stereo shaper so let me just play the bit so that you can hear the bit then we shall jump straight into today's tutorial so hear the bit So you have heard the beat, that's the beat, so let's jump straight into today's tutorial, which is ways you can use Fruit Stereo Shaper for your mix. So this is a guitar where I'm going to demonstrate or to show you how you can use Fruit Stereo Shaper in another way or in another method. So the way it is, this is a guitar, if I play the guitar, you hear it, it will sound together with the piano. Well, I've just soloed the guitar here, so hear it the way it will sound. You can hear three sounds there. There are two guitars and the piano because of Fruit Stereo Shaper. That's the reason why you are able to hear three sounds. Well, I've just soloed one sound here, which is a acoustic guitar. You can read from here. So the way it is, I'll just scroll this. So the way you can move this, just use the mouse wheel. When you scroll down, where the effect you have pointed is to go down. If you scroll up, to go up. So I'm going to just uh, solo this. Fruit Stereo Shaper, and I'll go on this guitar, do the same thing, this one, the same thing, okay. So now if I were to play the guitar alone, E8. So you can hear the guitar, it is sounding as if it is in front of you. So just add Fruit Stereo Shaper. Then when you have add Fruit Stereo Shaper on your sound, so the way I do it, I just click here, one, two, then I'll have this uh, option, which is uh, this one, which is written delay. You can even read from the int panel here, and I just click here. So the way it is, when you do like this, if you play your sound, it will sound stereo. Hear it. 
you here if i solo fruit studio sh shaper you here so most of us have been just using this and just put on your sound you select the option or the effect or the preset which you love here and then you go for it but there is this option which is at the bottom here you can lead from the int panel when i put here it says different side chain output number so the way it is here if you use a mouse we want to put the mouse here you can see it has changed here if you scroll up we are going to put numbers here one up to five when you scroll up so the way it is let me play the guitar and then i'll be scrolling up you hear the way the guitar was, will be sounding where it is playing when i'm scrolling up here so here the guitar it has start sounding more on your left here if i put it on two so the way it is it has come here so this number which is two here it is here on hundred that's the reason why you are able to hear a lot of reverb here so it is here on hundred so if you were to solo hundred you hear the reverb would disappear If I put it on another number, you hear, because it has come here on the insert 101. So when it is here, like the way it is playing here, you are able to hear it now. So here, you can add effects which you want to this guitar. If it's a reverb, you can add the reverb. If it's a delay, you can add the delay. Anything you want to add, you are going to have two guitars one with the delay the other one with just normal sound without any effect so the way it is if i were to come here you hear if i solo this one you can still hear the guitar playing on your right if i click here you hear so now here if you want you can add reverb then when you have added reverb like this you do your settings the way you want them to be. So if I were to play the guitar now, hear it. You hear there are two sounds there. The one without reverb and the one with reverb. So hear it. So now here you can see that it is playing much on your right. That's the reason why there's this knob here for the left and the right. So you can now balance your guitar. If you want your reverb to be playing centered together with the dry signal, you can use this knob, which is here. So let me just try to push it to the left or to the right. You hear the way the guitar will sound. how good the guitar is sounding if i put it here that's the zone you have seen me here i've done this i didn't want reverb to be just playing much on your left here but to be playing center that's the zone you have seen here i've done a bit of some panning to the left same applies with here so if i were to add another let's say an eq Let me add distortion. So 
So you hear how good the guitar is sounding. If I were to solo this in set here, it, you hear? It is not even interesting the way it is sounding. But if we were to add these effects on this guitar, So if you want to hear even much of the effect which I've added here, you can just solo this insert here, where the guitar is, and just hear this sound which is here. If you want, you can even add root stereo in to make it even more white. If I add it together with the dry signal, If I were to add some drums, sounding there's a dry signal of the guitar and there's a reverb at the back so even uh, when someone is listening to it it will be difficult for someone to even tell how did you manage to play a guitar together with reverb you are able to hear two scenes a dry guitar and a, a guitar with reverb well it's just one guitar it's because of this so if you were to solo this hear it with the drums the way or how boring it will sound Here. But if I add this, so if the guitar has become more wide, you can still control the flute studio in the answer here by dragging this knob until you put it where you hear it sound good. So that's how you can use or another ways or another way you can use fruit studio answer on your sound. Then here you can add even other effects which you want to this guitar. It won't affect the dry signal, but it will be just affecting this sound which is here. So whatever you add here, it will play together with the dry signal which is here. So you can add other effects which you love to add here so that you make your sound to sound the way you want it to sound. So that's how I did it even to other sounds, the way they were playing, like you hear the guitar. I've just sold the guitar, but you are able to hear the piano. So, so if this fruit stereo shape, like here on the piano, I just did the same, you can see the number here. So if I want to send it on this inset, I can just send it there. Like, uh, let's say, let me just check. So it's see, three here. So if I come where the piano is here, Turn it on, then put it at three. Hear it now the way to play. So if I solo this piano, you're just going to hear this sandwich is here. Then here you can control how much you want everything now to be with the dry signal. That's the reason why there's this knob here. So if I were to play it, then I'll add it here until I hear it sound good then. I will introduce the dry signal here.
how good it is sounding. You are able to hear there's other sound or other instrument playing at the back. Well, it's just one or two instruments playing at the same time. But someone will be able to say, how did you manage to do that? It's a simple thing. Just use fruit stereo shape by the way I've used it here. So if I've got any question about this same tutorial, feel free to ask on the comments box below. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. This has been Frederick. Thank you very much. And I'm out.